State Highway Administration is the local community liaison. Uh, this is a very long anticipated day, but hopefully it's been well worth it. Sometimes it's not the, the scale of the project that matters, it's the meaning. And this is a classic example of what can happen when a community, a county, a state, and uh, a, a group of people who are dedicated to, to improving the community, giving it a vision for the future. What happens when all of that comes together plus an extra dose of perseverance, all right? So you're to be congratulated. You're the folks that uh, we're so very proud to salute. And we hope that, uh, again, this isn't the end of the beginning. This is the beginning of, of better things to come. So, Ed, and my pleasure to first introduce to you, I think you'll know all these folks. I'm gonna introduce each speaker. Our, our senator uh, from the 36th district, Stephen Hershey. Well, again, it's a, a great pleasure to be here today to uh, cut the ribbon for this project. And um, I'd like to thank a few people. First and foremost, the uh, Queen Anne's County Commissioners, the Queen Anne's County Department of Economic Development, uh, Maryland Department of Transportation, State Highway Administration, and most importantly, the leadership of the historic district, historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District. Um, also want to recognize the uh, David A. Bramble Company for, uh, for their fine work on their project. Um, I think it was about this time last year we were in Queenstown doing a very similar uh, ribbon cutting there and um, since then that project has served for, as a catalyst to many other developments and upgrades in that uh, area and we hope to see that this be the same type of uh, involvement for this community. Um, in the coming years we're hoping to see new uh, galleries, studios and other things that will complement this uh, historic arts district. So again thank you all very much. and. Uh, Guy, thank you as well, too. Thanks. Next is my privilege to introduce someone else, you, a very familiar face, our uh, Honorable Stephen Arnitz, the delegate from the 36th District. It would be pretty easy just to say ditto what the good senator said, but uh, I too think this is a great occasion. It demonstrates a lot of what we can do in Queen Anne's County with the partnerships with the state. Um, I'd like to add a couple little things. The task force, obviously, we'd like to thank them, the arts and entertainment. And I think more importantly, we'd like to thank the businesses and the citizens of Stevensville for, for going through this with us and supporting it along the way. Um, as we look around Queen Anne's County, we see a, a lot of examples of our his historic significance. And I think this Stevensville project is just another one of the things that we can be proud of and hopefully we can parlay this into some other things with, within the county. Um, last year, around this time, we, we had the privilege before we start meeting with state highways for our localities, they gave us the uh, overpass at 301, 304. This year we have the uh, historic district here in Stevensville being renovated. Next year, maybe we can look for a bridge to come across there. Um, <laughs> In closing, I'm excited about being here. I hope we all appreciate it. I think we all see how, how we can actually parlay this into some th big things for Queen Anne's County, and I, I really congratulate all those involved, and thank you for your support. And speaking of Queen Anne's County, we have Commissioner President uh, Phil Dumanel, who will uh, share a few words. And again, I hope you can see that these folks, the cooperation and the coordinated effort has made all the difference. Thank you. First of all, there's nothing few about anything I do. <clears throat> I promised I would keep it short. That's not gonna happen. Um, there have been uh, several great projects that have reached fruition in this county under this current county administration over the last four years. The creation of the Arts and Entertainment District in Stevensville is just one example of the successful relationship the county has had with the state. We stand here today and look back on when this process started to pick up momentum and where we are today. It would be because of the efforts of many groups and organizations. Our County Department of Economic Development and Tourism, 
and our partnership with the State Level Office of Economic Development and Tourism and the State Highway Administration. We can be proud of where we are today and be excited about the future. We have the town of Stevensville be a destination point for folks visiting Queen Anne's County to be able to park their cars and stroll our sidewalks and visit our shops and restaurants. This is what the entitlement of an arts and entertainment district has brought to us. I would be remiss if I did not send out a big thanks to the efforts of Dr. Faith Elliott Rossing and Debbie Birch from the County Office of Economic Development and Tourism. Debbie, outstanding. I want to thank the efforts of the historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District Board. If we have representatives from the Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District Board, could you please wave your hands, be recognized? Thank you. Through this whole process, Debbie Birch spoke very highly of you and your efforts, so thank you. Um, obviously, my uh, fellow elected officials from the 36th District have already said a few words. Senator Hershey's always said, never repeat what the person in front of you said. It's a major faux pas. But I want to extend my appreciation and thanks to the 36th District. Uh, of course, Senator Hershey, Delegate Ernst, Smeagol, and Jacobs. Um, just a few folks from the state. I know Carol Alexander, if she's here, thank you very, very much for your efforts um, from the Arts Council. Um, is Tom Revell here? Did Tom make it? Thank you very much for your help. Um, once again, Debbie Birch said she couldn't have done it without you two. I want to send out a very special thanks to the businesses and the residents for their patience during this construction process. Please enjoy your new look here in Stevensville. Tell all your friends to come and visit us. Thank you very much. Well, I tell you what, he gave, kind of gave a clue as to who our next speakers are, and most appropriately so, our uh, next speaker will be Nancy Cook, the chair of the historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District. Thank you so much. We are so excited that this road has been done. Do you know this has been a 20-year dream? And I know some of you are nodding because we sat in meetings and discussed this, and we cannot tell you how thankful we are that it has been done through uh, the auspices of State Highway, uh, Tom Ravel, and uh, Debbie Birch, and uh, Faith Rossing, and lots of other people, and uh, too many to name. But you see, we're an unincorporated town here in Stevensville. We did become a historic district in 1986 with Kent Island, and Heritage Society doing that major work and ever since we've been trying to make this a designation well here it is and look at that beautiful pave work pavement there and I can actually go around that corner without getting hit because I run around that corner all the time and now there's a sidewalk and so much has been done and we are so thankful and the Arts and Entertainment uh, District was created last July 1st and it's just uh, upward and on we, we go. And this has only enhanced what we will be able to do in this area. We really do want to make a difference here in Queen Anne's County. And it has been done through the heritage part of this area, through the business part of this area, and through the artists that we see around here. We've noticed so many more visitors and also for the residents. So we ask you to make this a destination point. We we're so thankful, and every time you turn this corner, say, oh, thank you for the sidewalk. <laughs> and so, uh, again, we are so pleased. Um, come visit us. Come visit us. Thank you. And um, you can see where the enthusiasm for this project came from, or at least originated. Uh, and we have one final speaker, and we're very happy that she's here to to represent the Maryland Arts Council, and that's Carol Alexander. Thank you. 
um, I'm really particularly pleased to be here because I was here the very first time. I don't even remember when it was or who I was with, but the very first time we talked about an art and entertainment district. And of course, we all looked around and said, well, how are people going to walk from this place to that place? So for me, it's really exciting to see what you've done. Um, I want, on behalf of the Maryland State Arts Council, to thank the leadership of our governor and our um, general assembly, because they're the ones that approve the Maryland State Arts Council budget that then allows us to spend that money and um, be able to create new ideas, which the Art and Entertainment District was, or all of them were early on. Uh, we are recognized throughout the country as having the strongest arts presence and we can't thank the legislature and um, our governor enough for that. Um, we realize that the arts are important intrinsically, but I think what you're starting to find out and what makes the Art and Entertainment District even more exciting is that it's about economic development. And luckily, we now have numbers to prove that. So there are 12,700 jobs created by the arts, $48 million in tax revenue, I mean, these are numbers that really help us to go after the money to support this. Um, finally, I would say to you that the Arts Council is really excited for you, and we're excited to continue to watch your success. Your success, believe it or not, in spite of all this long journey that you've gone through, is um, right up there with a lot of the bigger towns. Um, you've got the infrastructure, and I think that you also show us all how important it is for co collaboration and certainly working with the, high, the uh, highway administration and look what you've got that's amazing so we're looking forward to your successes and we really are available to help you in any way possible and i'll be shopping right after this so thank you, thank you. Thank you. And i would like to finish our official ceremony part with uh, a presentation by a man who's been a part of this on behalf of State Highway Administration since the very beginning. I know it means a lot to him, and I'm sure he is happy as anyone to see this day come. And that is uh, our uh, district assistant district engineer for project development, Tom Revell. Tom, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to follow all that. Uh, this project has been a long time coming. Uh, we started this design actually back in 2002. We met with Barbara Seeger from the Queen Anne's County Department of Tourism and we held a public meeting and asked for the community to form a task force. We were challenged because we were working with an unincorporated town and we didn't have a local government to work through. So with the help of Queen Anne's County to facilitate the process, we met with the town over a series of meetings in 2002 and determine what the needs were for the town of Stevensville. And the number one priority was pedestrian accessibility. We want to get people through town and parking. Uh, we want folks to come in and park, walk around and shop, and then leave. <laughs> and um, they brought up some other issues like drainage and slowing down traffic, and we came up with some ideas. Uh, one of the ideas that we brought to the task force was to make this a one-way street coming in. And then we talked about which way do we want the one-way traffic to to go. Uh, we presented that to the task force and it really wasn't us coming to you and saying this is what we're going to do. It was us coming to the community and saying what do you want? What, do you, what does the community need? And so it was driven by the community task force. Um, we developed the project. We did a first phase project in 2004 which was right here at the intersection. We put sidewalk ramps around the intersection and crosswalks. We didn't have enough money to do this project yet. Uh, and it was very early in design. So we did that as phase one. The project that we have here today is phase two. Um, we got through design, we got through the right-of-way process, we acquired right-of-way to <clears throat> build storm drains, close in the ditch. Uh, we had the project ready to advertise in 2008, 2009. We advertised the project, and it was right after that really bad winter that we had. Uh, we lost money out of, out of our capital programs budget, and we were forced to cut uh, a lot of projects, and this project unfortunately got cut back in 2009. Uh, since that time, we had struggled to get funding back for it. It's not eligible for federal aid. It's a state-funded project. 
and uh, we worked and we tried to get funding back last year. We had uh, we had some extra money available, and I received a call from Baltimore and said, "Do you have any state-funded only projects that you would like to advertise?" I said, "Yes." So we have this one. We brushed brushed the dust off the project. We re-advertised it. Uh, David A. Bramble got the low bid, and what you see here today is the result of that project. Uh, the low bid on the project was $643,000, and I'm happy to say that it's complete. Um, I was managing the design. If you have any complaints, see me. <laughs> or call me or email me. Um, I'll give you my contact information. And I'm happy to say that uh, in two weeks, we're meeting with the Arts and Entertainment Board to kick off the des design for phase three, which is extending the sidewalk further north up to Old Love Point Road. Um, we have design funding that will be available for that project. And uh, I'm, real, I'm as, as excited about phase three as phase two. And I wanna thank the community of Stevensville the Arts and Entertainment Board in Queen Anne's County for their cooperation. This is really a partnership project. It's not a state highway project. It, it's all of us working together. Thank you very much. Okay, we're getting ready now for the ceremonial part. One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Yeah.